Hello, this is Alex from cables.gl. I'd like to show you a really cool tool made by Bagoof that is now public and published on our cables.gl website. It's called Matcap and Cube Map Creator, and I'm sure you can guess what it does. So I'll link the page below, and you'll be greeted with it like so. But I recommend you go to the menu here and then open it in a new window. And this will open this Matcap Creator uh, full screen, and then we'll go through some of the features that I really like and uh, get you up to speed on how to learn the tool and get accustomed to creating your own matcaps. And uh, just a refresher, what are matcaps? Matcaps are um, textures that will kind of embody the scene or uh, and how the material acts in that scene. So for example, if it's a green um, apple with some lights on the left and the right, um, there's a certain way that you can kind of um, represent this uh, in, in a specific um, type of texture called a matcap that will then be, you can apply it to other um, models and kind of capture the essential parts of um, how that apple would look in that room. So, of course, um, let's not uh, um, speak about the... <laughs> The, the minuses of using matcaps, but I think the pluses are so huge and you save so many resources using it in mobile um, projects for mobile devices, I mean, uh, or uh, things like VR or AR. I think it's super handy, it's super quick, um, and you get really nice effects and you can also get super uh, crazy artistic effects with it too. And I'm going to run through the essential bits of the matcap creator, get you up to speed, and then I'll um, cover that um, as we apply some of these matcaps in a project I've set up. All right, so the sidebar. The sidebar has uh, controls for you, uh, how do you preview, uh, uh, where do you position the lights, um, what's your material like, and uh, some um, post uh, effects on the matcap texture itself that will kind of add um, more possibilities of how um, this material will act uh, in your scene. And then, of course, we have the export here. Um, and I'm going to cover this preview tab first. The, the best feature, I think, by far is this um, kind of room um, preview mode where instead of looking at the um, matcap and uh, working with how it will look on your model, you can actually look at this sphere that will be the matcap inside a room. So when you position the soft boxes and the lights, you will uh, have a better grasp of, you know, where are you moving things. And let's take a look at that. It's the mesh preview uh, toggle here. And if we toggle this, we are now in a room with the sphere. And this is super handy if you're uh, beginning to use this tool. And when I use the tool, this is the primary mode where I start my matcap and then I switch back to the um, preview mode and then make some minor adjustments. For example, um, let's stop the rotation. And if we click and drag on the canvas, um, we're rotating the room around the model. And, you know, you can get kind of undesirable effects, uh, I would say. Um, and right click will recenter the the or return the camera to the default view but it's actually really handy when you just need to adjust something or you want a different look or maybe you want to um, output more than one matcap from this tool and then uh, interpolate between them in your software so you would like fade one in and then fade one out and there's a, also a fantastic patch by Bagoof on um, uh, our website that's uh, taking that to kind of a cool extreme where it's a visualizer for um, music. And it's just using matcaps, but it's, it looks super wild. And um, I'll also link that below. But uh, let's continue to look over the, the main features here. The presets uh, will kind of get you up to speed. And I also started looking at them first and then um, kind of 
reverse engineering them or just like toggling lights on and off. So let's try that with um, this um, preset studio four and we'll stop the rotation and then we'll go over to this light studio uh, tab and we'll see um, a number of options here for the different lights that are available um, for us to manipulate. And in this preset, only the point lights, um, which are, uh, you can kind of imagine a point light, which is kind of like a lamp behind a soft box. And a soft box will be like a, a piece of fabric or something in front of the light that will soften the light. Um, and if we turn them off, everything will be turned off. And then we just have some um, leftover effects maybe in the post here. But anyway. Um, we can also go to the default, but I'm just going to continue with this uh, preset here. So let's turn them back on and then uh, expand this point lights tab. And then we'll see the different um, point lights that we have um, options with. Um, front, back, right, left. So if we turn them off, we'll see them uh, kind of stop affecting the scene. And this is uh, maybe this, this is a good, good point where I will uh, cover this multiple um, matcap output mode. So let's say we have all of our um, lights set up and we like this. We'll go to the preview mode tab and then we'll turn on this matcap set mode. And this will allow us to um, kind of capture a matcap um, and up to six of them. Or of course you can make six, uh, export them and then continue making more. So if we click store matcap, this will store um, how this light looks or this matcap looks. And if we'll go back to light studio and for example, turn off one or two and then go back here and then store a matcap. Now we have two matcaps and uh, since we didn't move the camera um, or the room around the model, you can kind of simulate different lights turning on and off uh, in the scene um, in your project which I think is also pretty cool. Um, it's essentially how I work on different materials. For, for, so for example, I'll have uh, um, something like this white um, kind of reflective material for a, a sculpture or something. And then I will want to maybe uh, work on uh, something less reflective or maybe it will be like brown or something. So I will adjust it and uh, not move the camera setup or um, change the angle of this matcap at all, um, which by the way, you can actually turn off so you don't make a mistake here. Drag to change matcap orientation, we can toggle that off. So now when we click and move, we won't kind of um, move our lights. So it, when we output multiple of them, we will still be able to kind of keep the um, uh, kind of the the illusion that there are different lamps turning on and off in the same room. Okay, so, you know, th there's definitely a lot of options to cover here. And I think uh, once you um, can orient yourself around the, the like, the basic uh, uh, function of this tool, uh, you'll be fine. So I'm not going to cover every single detail of, of how you can manipulate and create different effects, um, uh, maybe in another video or something like that. But um, I think that should really get you started. And of course, the export um, uh, tab is very important because this is where you're basically exporting everything. So since we're working with a, a set of matcaps, and if we turn on preview we'll see them again um, and let's let's store another one for good measure we'll go to uh, this export tab and then uh, save matcap set and this will save all um, three of our matcaps at the same time which is super quick to work with um, okay so let's say we created a super nice setup and we want to try it in cables. So I'm going to switch over to my project and it's a, a SketchUp, a Sketchfab model uh, that I downloaded that I'll also link below. It's super nice, nice uh, low poly Lancia. And then 
I have some madcaps that I've created and I was kind of going for this um, typical green paint that uh, you sometimes see on lunches and then uh, maybe some sort of neon lights behind it. And the result kind of looks like this. And you'll see that um, I have kind of like multiple light, light boxes here. Uh, and that is a mode called repeater. And uh, I definitely recommend you play around with it because you can also apply gradients and get like super um, artistic effects with it. And as you see, my main um, material was green. And uh, if we plug it in, and you know, I'll, I'll publish this um, project so you can explore it. It might be a little bit daunting as I'm just covering one little part of it. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll maybe make another video for it. But uh, as we connect it, we'll see that this matcap is now applied to the model. And as we rotate it, it starts to sort of look like there is um, like a purple um, scene behind it and then here in front it's more of a standard white light with some reflections as well and we get the green car paint and I think I have another version here yeah so madcaps are really wild to me still I don't think they'll ever stop being wild to me uh, how they act and how you can fake really nice effects and get away with so much for so little um, but yeah, you will have uh, different issues that um, you'll have to keep in mind or as you get uh, well-versed or, you know, um, uh, bring in some experience, you'll be able to even like go beyond the standard um, ap application of madcaps where you can start playing around with UVs and normals and kind of manipulate um, how they look uh, to copy realism even better. and. Uh, what else? Let me just show you like a trick here. Like this, this takes to me, uh, takes madcaps to kind of like a even crazier level. So I have this image composed with draw image pre prepared. And I'm going to, instead of um, putting the madcap directly into my um, variable here that's doing the texture assignment. I'm going to put it into the image compose because the draw image will allow me to manipulate it with some transforms and flipping it and things like that. Um, and then I can animate it. And then I'm going to plug it back into this variable. All right, so now we're back to this um, madcap, but we can, you know, of course we can apply different effects for it. For it. But the, the funny thing is like rotating the madcap can can uh, get into some cool territory. So if I put a timer here and then just uh, crank it up a bit, um, you can get interesting effects or you can maybe just readjust your matcap or, or maybe, you know, you don't like the colors anymore or you want to uh, allow your user or maybe like a music visualizer to change the colors. So you can just go super wild with it and, and uh, yeah, I have a really cool hands-on um, fun time with madcaps in cables. Yeah, okay, so hope you like that. And uh, definitely check the tool out, have some fun, and uh, tell us what you make with it. Bye.